I want to make this point very clear here that a lot of the people that are confusing the pride flag with the progress flag are doing it completely on accident. They're not doing it with any sense of malice. They're not doing it to be like, oh, what about us? They're trying to replace us. Not like that. It's genuinely just a bit of confusion. And I'll say I can see how someone can fall for it, seeing how similar the flags already are in the first place. But this is by design, and I'll explain why. This is the pride flag. This is the progress flag. These are not the same. This is not the updated pride flag. This is not the new pride flag. This is not the replacement to the original pride flag. Let's define the two flags. The pride flag is for anyone that's not straight, essentially. It's not just for gay people, it's not just for lesbians, it's not just for bi people, and it's not even for trans people. The rainbow is meant to be symbolic of a spectrum of queer people. This is the progress flag, and it includes the pride flag as part of its design. But it also has a black stripe, a brown stripe, a blue stripe, a pink stripe, and a little white triangle. And obviously the outermost ones are for trans people, which this flag already is meant to symbolize, but specifically saying that we support trans people is a good thing. The brown one is meant to be for minorities, basically anyone that is not white that is oppressed by the system. And the black stripe is to commemorate those that have passed away from AIDS or HIV, something that's been stigmatized to the LGBTQ community. The difference between the two flags is that this one is essentially for gay rights. This one is for gay rights, but also for minority rights. It's also for trans rights, etc. It's more broad. It's basically saying that we're in support of anyone that is suffering oppression. In fact, there are even more variants of this flag that have the agender symbol on it. And lately there's been this absurd moral panic that this is outright meant to replace the original flag. We have tweets like, I love how the rainbow is disappearing. And even people like YMS, please do not harass him. He's not doing this on purpose. He's just misinformed saying like, what you're doing is you're you're giving the rainbow back to conservatives that are saying, take uh, we want the rainbow back. Yeah, I don't like the new new pride flag. The new pride flag. Remember remember when Christians and conservatives were like, Give us back the rainbow. God that's God's God gave us the rainbow. The gay people stole the rainbow from us. You're doing that. You're doing that when you change the pride flag. You're giving it back to them. New, new edition. I'm against the idea of giving Christian conservative people the rainbow back like they've been asking for the past 20 years. New flag like the trans flag or whatever, and you want to make it for like uh, people of color who are gay or something. And it's like, oh, we're, we'll fly our own. You know, you can fly an OG pride flag and that. You can fly multiple flags at once. That's cool. When in fact, these are two separate flags. And they both work as two separate flags. It is a variant of the pride flag, not a replacement. It is just a moral panic that is literally just a step above the white genocide conspiracy theory that, oh, they're trying to infiltrate and replace us and take what's ours and we need to defend it. So even though YMS calls it the updated pride flag or the new pride flag, it is not meant to replace it. They are two separate flags with two separate meanings. One of them is for queer rights and the other one is for queer rights and minority rights and trans rights, some of the which can overlap, obviously. There are straight trans people and there are gay black people. And yeah, there are other variants of it, as I mentioned just a second ago, that have like Ukraine in it and have the agender symbol in it. And people are like, oh, what? What, you're just gonna include every single sexuality and every single oppressed minority? Think about it like this. If you're a member of an oppressed demographic that isn't featured on this flag, the beautiful thing is that you can just do your own variant of it. You can put your own symbol on it and have it symbolize your plight along with everyone else's that is suffering to show solidarity. Why am I bringing this up at all? There was a pretty viral tweet made a few hours ago saying that this flag is copyrighted. Meanwhile, the original is public domain. And they're saying copyrighted as in you need to license it whenever you need to show it. Notice how I am showing it right now and did not need to license it. Do you want to know why? is because it is protected under a Creative Commons license, not a traditional intellectual property license. Creative Commons license means that essentially, as long as I give credit, I can use this. It just enforces that this is their property and no one else can monetize it without putting a traditional trademark on it. All of my videos, if you look in the description, are Creative Commons. That's because I want people to take my videos and 
talk about them, make critiques of them, make remixes of them, even just re-upload them. I don't care. Just give me credit. That's all I need. I guess the original person putting some safeguard in their work so that way someone else doesn't trademark it and steal it and prevent people from using it. Well, I guess that's the worst thing in the world. Don't forget to mention that he's white, by the way, because that'll intentionally get people mad. I'm not even joking. They admitted that this was their specific reason for mentioning that the creator was white. Listen, I don't care if you're non-binary. If you're white, you're not oppressed. Simple as that. It's a moral panic. That's all it is. This is not going to replace you. This flag is always going to be valid. The original flag is always going to be valid. This flag is going to be valid too. And anyone that says otherwise is a fucking selfish baby that needs all the attention to themselves and cannot stand the thought of someone else getting help for their oppression. I know I keep repeating it, but it's just very important for me to emphasize that this is not a replacement of this. This is a variant alongside it. Someone putting rainbow colors on the American flag does not mean that we are trying to supersede the American flag. So yeah. Long story short, make your own flags, have it represent what you want it to, just stop trying to act like your flag is the only one that matters.